thank you for joining McCormick Systems. We're going to run you through the new features of version 12, extension. We've got a new paste from job screen. We've actually reordered some of the paste functions and given the ability to copy takeoff and drawings. We have redesigned our label screen to make it easier on you, the user. All of the checkboxes and multipliers are now done in our extension step. Here's an awesome feature. We've given you the ability to move labels up and down within a column. Simply click on the box on the left and drag it up and down. Reorder your bids easily and with confidence. After takeoff is complete, labels now have colors. This will indicate if takeoff has been done or not. Blue says there's takeoff completed in that label. Black says there's no takeoff in that label. Check out our new instant extension. Click on your extend button and your material list is ready to go. We now have quick and easy ways to view your label and cost code totals. Click on any arrow on the left to expand or collapse. Labels are now directly associated with the report. We are working on base bid, so choose the labels associated with base bid. For base bid, I also want to see my floors separated out, so all I have to do is click on the separate button. Quickly flip back to materials and I now have a new view of my base bid. When I hit collapse labels, you can now see a total for each floor broken out. We'll go ahead and expand the labels and now collapse the cost codes. Here are my totals for each cost code for each floor. Want to see the material for floor one branch rough? Click on the arrow. We have now made navigating your extension lightning quick and easy. All pricing and labor levels are now built into each extension. Simply click on the report and choose the price and labor you want to see. I want to see what this would be at with change order labor. All I got to do is click the report and here is my change order labor total. Flip back and forth between any report, see any kind of total that you would like. Let's bring her back to bid labor. Here's a big change. We've now given the ability to work with assemblies within extension. If you would like, go ahead and edit assembly quantities or byproduct quantities. If you have to do unit pricing, it is a snap now. We can edit any sort of price that we want. We can also build custom reports with tax, direct job expenses, and be able to edit those on the extension. Again, build your own custom reports and edit anything you want on these reports without affecting your main database. Remember, the reports are interactive. If you change the quantities of an assembly list, it will affect your price one and bid labor list. The ways to view and change your reports are limitless. We've also made filtering your reports easy. You can flip down your material filter and see zero price, zero labor, and quoted reports. You can see on this particular job I have got no items with a zero price, I've got no items with a zero labor, and here are my quoted items. Again, this is an interactive list, so if I change this Trawford to a price and make it something other than quoted, it will disappear instantly off of my quoted list. It's pretty cool. You'll now find that fixture on the price one and bid labor report with a price. Another huge upgrade is now we have eliminated the task of re-extending when we want breakouts. So instead of re-extending, I simply click on my next summary. This will give me a brand new report that I can work with. I want to break out each floor as its own summary, so I'm just going to rename this second summary to floor one. Again, all I need to do is click on the labels and pick the labels that consist of floor one. Here is my report with just floor one totals. Okay, let's go ahead and set up floor two. Rename it, we'll call it floor two, and we set up the labels. Click on the labels and check what we need for floor two. I am literally creating breakouts in seconds. 
If I hit the click to add, I simply add new extensions. Okay, so I'll just finish up my floor three. I will set up the labels like I've done for floor one and floor two. So we set up everything for floor three and I now have totals and a material list for just floor three. Breakouts are easy. Okay, let's finish up with our fourth and final floor. So one more time, click on the labels and produce what I need. That is it. I've now created four breakouts from my base bid as separate summaries. Just like the pricing reports, easily click between each summary to see its own totals. We are now introducing a new and powerful tool in Extension that is called Linking or Unlinking Reports. By default, all reports will be linked until you decide to unlink that report. And what I mean by linked reports is that I can now make a change on my base bid report and that change will filter down to every single one of my floors. Again, just because we broke out all of these floors does not mean we can't work with all of them at the same time. That's the power of the linked reports. The same process works for labor and quantities. If I change the labor, quantities, price, anything on one linked report, every other linked report will reflect that change. One more time, McCormick has taken reporting to the next level. Breakouts, project management, material lists are set in a flash. Now, of course, you can make changes to a report without affecting any other report. This is called an unlinked report. To be clear, an unlinked report will not be affected by the database changes or any other changes to any linked report. As soon as I unlink my report, it shows me right here. This extension will not be automatically updated with quantity, labor, or price changes. It also shows me the unlinked symbol by the report. So now that this report is unlinked, I can go through and make any changes I want to this report, knowing that it will not affect anything else but this report. So I'm going through and I'm making all of these changes and you will see that it's clear that when I click on my other bid summaries, you will not see any of these changes take effect. An unlinked report can only affect that unlinked report. Think of an unlinked report as a separate saved report. Okay, let's finish this job up. All we need to now do is choose which extension reports we want to send to summary. So simply click on the report and hit send to summary. Okay, let's finish up by sending the rest of the floors to their summaries. You will notice that when you send a report to a summary, that report automatically unlinks itself from the database. You will also notice the symbol showing that this report has been sent to its bid summary. All reports are now auto-saved, so just go ahead and close the extension when done. Let's click on to bid summary and you will see each one of our breakouts is now ready to be priced with overhead and profit. We have covered all the big features of version 12 extension. There's still many more out there. If you have any questions at all, please give us a call at 1-800-444-4890. Thank you and have a great day.